Okay, here we go again in our pursuit of the Premier League. We arrive at step three of non-league, more specifically Margate FC. And I had a few questions. Is tonight the night? Are Margate kits the best in non-league? And could I possibly get the stadium announcer to shout on the road? It's all coming up in this one, so sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy. And a road! Yeah, back again. We are literally back again. I'm currently cleaning the windscreen, but turns out the marks are on the inside. There's nothing I can do about that right now. It's definitely not me, though. I wouldn't cough, let alone sneeze in a car. Ever needed a sneeze going round a roundabout? Scariest thing ever. It's definitely my son, for sure. Last time out, I made a mistake, didn't I? If you didn't check it out, it's Corinthian casuals, and it was a great mistake, wasn't it? And in that video, I gave you some homework, didn't I? I told you guys to welcome new viewers by giving a quick rundown of what they're to expect in future videos. Flicking up now are some of my favourites. Middle-aged. Am I middle-aged now? Is it, is, is it all downhill from here? Must be, but if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is on the road, there's a playlist on the channel, and there's over 120, odd, I still don't know the number. Let's check, 127. Once this is uploaded, it'll be 128 videos for you to check out and binge. Now to get us up to speed, we're doing a little bit of a challenge, aren't we? 10th tier to Premier League this year. We've been promoted every time a team has won. We're up to step three of non-league, and we have our sights set on the National League, North and South. But standing our way is Haringey Borough, who take on Margate FC. It was founded ages ago, proper old, back in 1896. They currently find themselves in the Isthmian Premier, 13th place to be exact, whilst their opponents, Haringey Barra, rooted to the bottom of the table. I smell promotion, lads and ladies. Now, the ground we're visiting tonight is known as Hartsdown Park, which has a total capacity of 2,100, 400 of which are seated, but probably, no, in fact, they're not heated. Absolutely not. Now, I've just come over the QE2 bridge, and it's going to cost us £2.50 for the pleasure. I can't lie, this trip is very annoying, only because I'm having to travel right in to go right back out. Can we get a bridge or some sort of speedboat service down at South End? That'd be very handy. We're not going quite as far as Broadstairs, an old mate of mine lives there. Oh, Dave, I'm told it's pretty close to France and you can pick up French phone networks there. Interesting. We move on. This trip is mostly made up of taking the M2, which is a little bit slower, and features a tunnel. You know what time it is. Hold your breath. See if you can make it the whole way through. Let's go. One, two, three. Easy, that one, right? Oh, by the way, I've got some homework for you this week, ladies and gentlemen. It goes like this. If your beloved team disappeared into thin air, who would you support and why? Leave your comments below and make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Oh. Eventually, we enter a residential area, and this is certainly an area I could live because there's a post box there. I've lived in three different places, all of which are in very short walking distance of a post box. This qualifies. I could live here. Right here. Yeah. Also features a bus stop. What a treat. So at this moment, I see a potential Clive and lots of people walking down towards somewhere. I'm thinking that we're right near the ground. Satis Navius confirms this, so I'm just going to park in here. It's always risky driving into a space like this, but we did it, didn't we? I couldn't give a crap. Don't mess with me. And so it's on the foot. Yeah, back again. I actually got a lovely shot from outside the ground, but I didn't actually record it. It's strange. So I'm going in right now, and it's... Well done! Severe lack of click, 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 but... Welcome to Hearthstown Park, home of Margate Football Club. This is nice. Absolutely splashed the cash, didn't I? £2.50 on a programme. Don't forget £3 on the raffle. Let's go. And so we walk in, and so is this dog at a football. Must point out, not a sausage dog. It's worth noting that we are below the plastic pitch right now. It appears to be built on a giant slab of concrete. I'm wondering how many pairs are taking a tumble down there. Well, that is old school. Hello, mate. How you been? I have arrived at food. Get me some food. Saw some condiments on show, like it. Along with a club shop next door, I'll be visiting. Managed to get a cheeseburger with onions, didn't I? £4.50 And next door to food, they have a beer shack. Great facilities so far. How's the old sound system sound? I love 19, really Not too bad, could be improved. As I take in the surroundings, I do realise there is a football match on today. It is Margate, and it is Steve. I mean, Haringey Borough. Bites have been taken, by the way, and I'll let you know how this went down at the end of the video. But for now, we're going to kick off, and it's taken us just over three minutes to see a ball get kicked. That could be a record. Oh. It's true, I normally make you wait about four or five minutes. As usual, we're checking out the Lino's boots. Is it Nike? Is it Adidas? Of course, it's Adidas tonight. Can't work out if they're Copa Mondiales or World Cups or whatnot. However, I've got a feeling they're not his. For some reason, these boots are screaming lost property. He's brought down his normal studs, realising it's an all-weather pitch. Can't use them, Trevor. And now he's rushing around ten minutes before the game to see if anyone's got some moulds at least. And moulds at least he found. In a box, in a cupboard, at the back. Bang. <laughs> Behind the goal, we've got the Margate Faithful on a painted terrace like that. Very on brand. And I spoke about this in previous videos. I'm noticing halfway line corner flags. It's a thing, but they're not corner flags because they're halfway line flags. What's going on? Anyway, Margate go close, but not close enough. Appreciation from man in hat. Not the standard sort of hat you'd wear to the football, but you do you. Their man in not so standard hat leans across as I look to capture this corner. Oof. Anyone hear that scream, by the way? It's coming over there from the drum. Atmosphere. Anyway, did you know Margate is sponsored by the Libertines? Whose best advice, by the way, was to not look back into the sun. But for the benefit of Charlie, I'm on double barrel name watch, and there's nothing, nothing at all from Margate. The Haringey Borough coming in clutch. We've got Lennox McLeod, we've got Melvin Lambert, we've got Jassy Sambu. I'm assuming a silent team. If not, the Jassy Sambu. We can take a little walk. Great parking. And I've got to tell you, there's plenty of goals in this video. I've come down here because Margate were bossing it, and uh, that's no longer the case. So um, waste of a walk. As we're here, corner flag girth is most notable. The concrete slopes are thing round here and all. I can't help but think I'm standing in someone's place. But there's no one here. No one at all. Back to Trevor on the line down there. Fantastic. Fantastic posture, look at this. I'm definitely going to place him in the human ruler family because he's as straight as a ruler. Justin for sure that Margate is a thing, able to loiter and do what I want. I'm getting cold, so I'll do this up. And how's this for a voice? 
right through me that. Fujifilm, eh? I often wonder if big brands like this put their hand in their pocket and help out non-league clubs. MMS 360 Media, likely story. But Fujifilm, I just can't picture it. If you're not up reading, this program is certainly for you. Admittedly, I did switch off at third round proper, because I saw the lights shining of a digital subs board, and that got me excited. I don't think it was used, though, and uh, this first half, I've got to say, very uneventful. And that was literally that. The half to forget. And as that half to forget ends, my guy Mark has joined me. View of the channel and all around nice guy. Hello. Hello. We've been half time. Are we about to do something that we've never done before? Three, seven, six. Zero, no. And the answer to that is no, absolutely not. Mark, you ever won a raffle? I've been coming here for, I reckon, 29 years, there or thereabouts. Never won the 50-50, not even once. What's that all about? Oh, no, right, what is that all about? And what is this all about? Random ticket checks? Get your ticket or we'll chuck you out, yeah? Genuinely think I've lost my ticket. No standing in the yellow. Don't stand there. I've had enough of rules. I'm in the club shop now. Pink. Looking at last season's shirts. The new ones aren't here yet. It's a touchy subject, I must say. But aren't they snazzy? Well, you know, I couldn't picture Fujifilm. How wrong was I? Look at that. Look at that. Nice kits. I was a little bit cheeky because I spent a lot of money. Can I have a free Twix? I got a nod from the man in charge. Happy days. I just spent £120 on club merch. Jesus Christ. Free Twix, though. And a free bag. And it'll be available to you on the Whatnot stream. Not the Twix, though. Welcome to club house and margate mark has bought me a drink apple juice i promise time flies when you're having fun the uh, second half has kicked off and there's some real exclusive areas in this ground including the players eating area you've got to respect their privacy anyway, just outside an e-scooter a sign to tick the boxes and more rules oh god i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it <laughs> Successfully missed a goal again as this man in a Charlton hat and scarf walked past me. But with Margate 1-0 up now, it's time to press on. It has to be a routine win against bottom of the league and we're going to be looking at the National League North and South. In something totally unrelated, this is the sound I make when I step on a plug. <laughs> It really hurts. Oh, hello, Neve, Ellis, and Don Straps, also known as Andrew to his friends. Apparently, we'll be getting in the boxing ring soon. But look, more importantly, I've just taken a photo of football. The football is beautiful. It's over on Instagram, and I think you should follow me on there. Dylan Barnes is doing his best to keep it a 1 0. A Jamaican international goalkeeper, have you know? Get out of here. No, really. One cap. Still counts, though. Oh, just found this in my pocket. Bring it on. Where is the residential ticket checker? I've got to say, it's a nice thickness of card, this. And I don't think people appreciate it. They could save some money. I appreciate, though. Big up the little card tickets. A song from them to you. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go get some chips. And I've just bumped into, what's your name, sorry? My name's David. It's stadium announcer David, and David, a volunteer like many here, he's gonna highlight some of the struggles he faces. Way teams don't always tell you. Turn, they don't even turn the board sometimes, so I have to guess. Or look on football web pages. When there's goals going up, especially from corners and free kicks, I've got no chance. Yeah. <laughs> and it just comes a bit of a guessing game. But that's, that's, that's all part of fun. He's absolutely right, he is part of fun. And as we speak, numbers are being punched into the digital subs board, so we are gonna get a sub, we're gonna see David in action. As he looks on our readers, you gotta have good eyes to be a stadium announcer, especially one here at Margate. Substitution for the gate, replacing number seven, Adele Gordon. Is number 17, Ollie Bott. And it's as simple as that. Stay on the road. On the road, good ball. He knows, anyway, chips, got the chips, free quid. It's soon time to walk back behind the goal where this game continues to be slightly uneventful. I do have a shot from distance which goes over the bar and into the darkness and never to be seen again. I continue to capture, well, not a lot really, through the net though, but we say it all the time, you can roam in non-league. I'd say the digital subs board's had more action tonight and that's five minutes added on. And as we enter the stoppage time, Margate could be two up. Oh. Me and Margate Mark then discuss that not a lot's happened at all. Not a lot's happened. At all? No. But legs are getting tired and tackles are getting lazy. A bit like this. It's got me a booking, man. And it was. Out comes the cheese. But then we get the shot of the night. <laughs> so that's double cheese, which can only mean one thing. <laughs> oh, it's missing. Is that a second booking? Must have been. Well, we did get some entertainment at the end. This lot will be happy. Most importantly, three points for the gate. Oh. Oh. I can't believe that's just happened. And we've got interest in this now because we wanted to get promoted, but instead... 
We're staying where we are. I actually can't believe that's happened, but it definitely did happen. That's two points dropped for the gate. A 96th minute equaliser. Should we rate this experience? I think we should, yeah, let's do it. Okay, atmosphere, Tuesday night in Margate. Are oh, you going to get much? Probably not. And it wasn't much, but big shout out to Terry, the banshee. You can hear her, and we did hear her from miles away. She's hardcore, she's home and away. Unfortunately, it wasn't buzzing, and I'm going to have to go two stars. Up next, we're talking facilities. I spoke about it a lot, so let's go back over it. The ground itself felt a little bit unfinished in places. But everything you needed was there, including food, drink, and of course, a club shop. Clubhouse as well. Terry said, End. It's non-league football, it's three stars, which then brings us nicely onto the food and drink. We'll start with the burger, the cheeseburger to be exact. And I will say the onions caught me off guard a little bit. They were more caramelised, and I got no problem with it. The overall taste was good, but in 10 years' time, will I be talking about Margate's burger? Mm, probably not. Chips, we had chips as well. Cheesy ones, don't forget the cheese. Yeah, they're all right. I think overall we're gonna we're gonna go for a three and a half stars. Which brings us finally onto the cost. Well, I always say it at this level, don't I? So you can probably guess what I'm gonna say right now. Um, Five stars. And that gives Margate a total of 13 and a half stars. Slap bang, mid-table right now. Sandwich between Sitting Bourne FC and Bridpool. And in terms of our journey up the steps and up the leagues, it's, uh, we, it's, we've got to stay where we are. The next on the road will be again at one of these leagues. So comment below where you think I should go. And before I go, a quick selfie with Margate Mark. We've got a devastated David. He knows that should have been three points. But anyway, as we walk across the terrace, you can't park there. He's out the gates. And we are... No, we're not out of here. Got to check the bloody Instagram, didn't I? Don't you dare me to put your comment in the video, including Luca wanted sausage dog. Mate, I've already done it. Okay, so we really are out of here now. As usual, Hope you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like it helps me out massively if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button for more check out the on the road playlist to have a binge and as i always say i will see you in the next one yep you hung on didn't you well i'm gonna i'm gonna do this time what am i gonna say this time i can't think of anything have an amazon gift card code